Hello everyone, this is Sarah Fira, and welcome back to Going Medieval. We are now in the middle of autumn, and uh, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six settlers, and here comes the seventh. Uh, food is looking okay. Uh, I think it should be fine through the winter, uh, but we've got plenty of more crops uh, that will be coming in soon as well. So, uh, Giles is apparently willing to join us. He's a prisoner. Um, obviously, so if we don't take him, then we get him at a uh, negative mood modifier. And if we do take him, he will be our first intellectual with a, with a star. So he will become our new researcher. Um, I think Tonald is also doing research. I don't think I need her to continue doing that until we get to the second tier of research and then I'll add her back. Uh, he's got two stars in melee. Uh, he's got two stars in speechcraft and one star in tailoring. Uh, Gerard was the last settler we just got. He also has one star in tailoring. So he's going to become our researcher and definitely a melee person. So uh, we also will get two archers attacking us plus uh, five other melee type bandits so we're going to help him and oop, that's strange and also worrisome that he started right here right next to us so i do need to start working on these walls uh let's actually hit pause for more. well we've got 19 hours so here's what the settlement now looks like i've got two different prayer areas. Uh, I've added a tailoring bench, sewing station. I'm trying to add a workbench. So I've destroyed or recycled all of my clothing and armor that were flimsy. So the only thing I should have around for armor should be, uh, as long as it's not metal, uh, should be sturdy or above. Uh, I'm trying to get this woodworking bench up so that I can get rid of the flimsy wood items. I don't know what it's going to do with the iron, if I'll be able to reclaim some of that at this station or not. I've got a, uh, a stonemason fence going, which you can see now I've got the, the next tier of stone walls going up. Uh, this is currently considered under roof, so it's working at 100%. Uh, I've got a brewing station underneath here, which is not considered under a roof yet. Let's see, I need to move down a little bit. There we go. So it's 50% out in the rain. Uh, the same thing is going on with our campfire. I've got plenty of food racks here. So as you can see, I got three food racks almost completely full of food. Uh, two shelves here uh, with raw meat in it and I finished underground here this area where uh, they come down the stairs here go into this hallway through this door although they have lots of things to clean up in here and then I'm going to build a, a lot more shelves this is going to be where I'm going to start storing food I don't think it's going to be as cold uh, as if I would move it down um, or even go under and even go further that way but that it'll work for now and the shelves actually help quite a bit uh, with food decomposing slash rotting all right so we've got 15 hours now before they get here um, let's look at managing people so Giles is currently wearing flimsy leather winter clothes why does this say force equipped? Well, this it's, it's a good material, so I'll leave that as force equipped. The flimsy I'm going to get rid of. I just need to find out where Giles is. I want Giles to be melee. And I think everyone except for Donald and Anoda are archers. So Aiden should have melee. Anoda, and there we go. See also, everyone else should be melee, and hopefully... They will auto-equip some of this armor. Because the only person who's wearing armor right now is Aiden. 
Um, and I'm not sure I actually want him to have this gambeson on. So let's look around at what we've got. I also want him to have a helmet on. I'm having all of my archers wear caps and melee people wear helmets. You can have a shield, you can have a melee one-handed. I haven't set these to pick up sturdy or above yet. Uh, so just in case you didn't know, if you go to edit apparel, um, if they're on all apparel, you can change the slider here to only do sturdy and above. You can also do have at least so many hit points. Uh, be nice if I had if they had at least 10% hit points on them. I should probably go higher than that, but I don't know what our armor situation's like. Hopefully, with this all apparel, they will automatically pick pick up equipment. Like Tefani is not wearing any clothing right now, so that's not gonna work on the winter. But I do have people working on producing winter winter clothes. Um Let's now go to scheduling because he needs, oops, leisure. And I think I want to make him similar to, to this group. There we go. Uh, Giles, he, he did pick up a sturdy iron dagger and a sturdy wooden shield. Uh, I want him to have research as his number one, and I'm going to take Gerard off of that, although he does have the intellectual skill. I'm going to make him a two. I'm going to make her a two. So that hopefully Giles, with the, the person with the star, um, will start working on research a little bit more than everybody else. Uh, I'll make him a good tailor. I think that's all he's got for stars, so let's make everything else ones that they should be. So that he's doing all the other uh, basic stuff around the, the encampment. And I'll take a look at the gatehouse here. So it's 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 not complete, but it'll it'll work for the next few fights. At least I hope it will. I have not upgraded any of it to the second tier of stone walls, but I, I think I should be fine there. As long as they don't show up inside along these edges here, I think we're fine. Uh, I do want to start filling in these walls just in case, but the problem is I'm not... I'm trying to get things complete that well, need to be complete. Like, I need to get these walls and, like, uh, the rooms complete so that this is now, like, there we go. It's inside a spare room, but it still has, it's in an actual room, so it's 110% production. This one's only 100% because it's under roof. Once the room is complete, it'll be 110%. If I do get the decorative structures done and put these shelvings up, then I start getting the room bonuses, and I think we go up to 120, 125%, something like that. Uh, again, this is outside, so we're only at 80%. Okay, good. Let's start recycling. And it looks like we're only going to get wood out of the recycling this. So I want to edit this. I only want to recycle flimsy items at the moment. So we'll Recycle any of these things that are flimsy and I'll get wood out of them and it'll free up some storage spots. Uh, we do have a couple weapon racks in here. So we got a sturdy, a sturdy iron dagger and a sturdy war bow. I should probably make one of my melee people an extra bow as a bow person now. Um, I mean, I could go a very sexist route and make all of my females archers and all my males melee. I <laughs> um, well, Tefani has got a star in melee, so I'm going to leave her alone. Um, 
he's actually very good at melee. Aiden has two stars in melee. Gerard, well, everyone's actually pretty good with melee. The only person who doesn't really care either way is Seal. Everyone else has stars in melee, so maybe I'll make Seal a marksman. I don't mind the 14 skill. I mean, if he's able to do both, that's great. Because if he does get attacked by someone who gets too close to him, then at least he has. All right. Well, they're imminent, so I need to figure this out now. Um, he's hauling the stockpile. Let's look at manage, and I'll change him to archer. And I'll show you what, what I've got going on with archer. So... I'm allowing the archer set to wear leather armor, wood armor, and gambesons, uh, and they have to have at least dirty or better quality. Um, so you can do the same thing. Let's look at the melee. So the only thing I did with that was I removed the leather and the wood from, from melee, and uh, they can equip anything else. So we don't have a whole lot of options because I want everything to be sturdy or above. because I want to be able to uh, recycle all the other equipment to make better stuff, so hopefully good or better product. Okay, so now everyone's got at least sturdy equipment on, except for uh, good Giles who just got here, so I still need to make some winter clothes. I don't want to take this off this close to winter. Um, I do see that we do produce another winter clothes. I'll put it on. Let's let's start this up. I I want Seal to actually I want him to do ranged and no shields. And uh, where are you, Seal? He's actually right in the storeroom. So let's drop. Well, oh, he's fleeing. Oh. Undrafted stance. Okay, there we go. Um, you can change that. I, I'm not going to right now. I want you to drop that spear. You can wear a helmet for now. There we go. Let's see if he goes in a fix. All right, they're here. Uh, let's just see. It looks like. Oh, we might have gotten an extra bandit showing up. So we're going to refuse. They should be here. Let's make sure they're not right on top of us. Okay, we should be fine. So they're... Where'd they go? There they are. If they showed up just below the encampment, they're going to have to make a little ways around. and see what seals up to. There he is. He's going to pick up some food. They haven't figured out what they're doing yet. What is Seal doing? Still taking things into the stockpile. Okay, and people are starting to work underneath in my food storage area. Okay, for some reason Seal is not trying to pick up his armor here. <laughs> Alright, how close are you guys? Not really close yet. Alright, well, I need Seal to figure this out. Quip. Warbo. Oh, no, he needs at least 10. I didn't say that when I was looking at the Warbo. That I, at least I, that I could tell. Well, I don't think I have any other bows, but let's, let's double check in here. Uh, spear. Yep, I don't see any other bows. Eventually, I'm going to want him to do. <laughs> so 
So let's switch him back and switch him to melee. Let's go with two-handed. And he can leave everything else as it is for now. And let's see if this is not equipping anything. No, he's actually carrying something at the moment. All right, let's start moving people to where they're supposed to be. We just need to remember that Seal doesn't have anything and Donald. In this corner, I'm going to put Inoda in front of the door. Actually, you know what? Let's put her over here. So that hopefully she can get an angle of shooting them and at the door when they get to the door. Aiden can harvest resources later. He's our one of our better. Six. If I just haven't figured out C all yet. Okay, good. Now he's equipping something. one but whatever um, and we'll put him out here so we got plenty of melee wants to do break through the doors because they're going to break through the doors uh, where are they at okay let's speed it up a little bit See one archer. Now oh, there's the other one. Okay, so is she shooting? She's not yet. Let's just put this on regular. flimsy short ball. All right, we already have two people on the doors. skill isn't very good, but she doesn't have any stars in melee. Oop, she actually took some damage there. Alright, so Idric is almost gone. Uh, I really want those archers dead before anything else happens. They've broken through the doors. Alright, good. The archer's dead. We've got another flimsy war bow. There we go. Um, Tunneled was the bravest, dealing the most blows. Seal took the most damage. Aiden blocked the most hits. And we lost the wooden door. Um, there is one bandit left who was not going to make it out alive. There we go. So, we get everyone hauling again. I probably need to make a couple different pyres because I think I have them right along where I think this wall needs to be, just in case they do spawn along this edge. All right, well, I guess that's uh, really close to 20 minutes. Um, I guess that's uh, where I'm going to end it. This is kind of where I'm at with 
of uh, the settlement on going medieval on survival mode. Uh, we seem to be doing just fine. I will continue working on this and I guess I'll see you guys uh, when the next attack hits. Uh, and as always, really thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying the series and I will talk to you all next time. All right, everyone. I'll see you later.